when your first thought is, oh, it's too bad, like Daredevil could never be on Guardians of the Galaxy, my second question is, no, 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 why not? How much fun is it being back on a Jessica book? Well, it's great because in, you know, when we ended Alias, it literally, we got to the end of a story where she healed her, like she found what was wrong and started healing. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm at the end of the story. I, like it really crept up on me. I literally finished the issue, called up uh, editor-in-chief at the time, Joe Quesada, and said, I think I finished it? And he goes, oh, let me read it. He goes, oh yeah, listen, you just have to go on and on forever. Here, now you have a book that never jumped the shark, right? And he goes, <laughs> and we were hoping, we wanted to talk to you about doing an investigate, investigative book. And maybe Jessica could be part of that. So we did it. Uh, and, and so I've been kind of writing her the whole time. Now, I did take some time off because I was doing Guardians of the Galaxy and she just didn't fit in that book. Yeah. But um, as much as I would have loved to. Um, Did you have an idea to bring, bring her on board? When you think of, well, when your first thought is, oh, it's too bad, like Daredevil could never be on Guardians of the Galaxy. And my second question is, no, 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 why not? Hold on. Just because that's, because honestly, some of my biggest wins at Marvel have been doing the opposite. Like, Spider-Man's not an Avenger. Wolverine can't be an Avenger, he's an X-Men. Yeah, exactly, I'm like, why not? And then there's no good argument, and I'm like, well, now they're Avengers. Power Man, what yeah. are you gonna do with Luke Cage? Come on, yeah. But like, the, the argument, the, the screaming fight argument in the room at Marvel was that Wolverine and Spider-Man can't be Avengers. Like, there was half the room thought they, why not? And the other half was like, no! How, how, how did you win that argument? Uh, it was a funny day because it was actually Mark Miller had started the conversation. He was there with us in his, in his Scottish brogue where, where I, I can say one thing, he'll say the exact same thing, but he said it with a Scottish accent and I said it with a Cleveland accent, so it sounded much smarter when he said it. So even though we were both talking about this, he said, boy, you know, when I was a kid I used to love the Justice League because you can get all the great characters for 10 cents versus the only Batman for 10 cents, right? So why isn't the Avengers that? Why isn't it all of the like, coolest, like the real, like by today's standards, not the 60s standards, by today's standards, who are the coolest characters in Marvel and why aren't they all on the Avengers, right? And then I said, like Spider-Man and Wolverine, and there were some editors who literally steam was coming out of their ears, like you sack, you you know, sack of, uh, you know, it was just ter terrible. And then um, I looked over at my publisher, and he literally had cartoon dollar signs in his eyes, so I knew. Is this Bill? The, uh, no, this was Dan Buckley, and it was a, one of the first times we really okay. got to know each other. Like, I really didn't know him that well, but I looked over, and he was like, ka-ching, ooga, ooga, and then, um, by the end of that day, there, me or Mark were going to be writing Avengers. Mark was already writing Ultimates, so he already had an Avengers book. And I was like, uh, I was so scared of it, I had to do it. I literally was like all my, I said no like three times. And then I showed up to whatever we were doing that night. And I said to Joe, I said, yeah, I, I got to do it. Because I knew we already knew you were doing it. We, already, we saw that looking right, you, we knew. Best part about that story is that nobody knows that Miller was lying. 10 cents, what, he's like 60 years old? <laughs> Comic books have been 10 cents since 1963. Yeah, no, I, th I, think, I think in there was a lot of truth. I think Mark is 60 years old, I think. <laughs> Yeah, and the, and the joke I started with, why wouldn't Daredevil be on, on Guardians of the Galaxy? So you do start to go, wait, 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 wait. Just because it never has been done doesn't mean it can't be done. Everything's different now. The characters are in different places. Think about it. Is there a great Daredevil story that can be told by putting him on a spaceship? Sure. No, I, I couldn't think of one. <laughs> and maybe there is, but I don't have one in me right now. So that's the reason, no. But that's why Tony Stark ended up on there, because that, that's a great story.